Marisa with Bicozy.net is here. Bicozy.net and Bicozy.com is an American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns for hand and arm knitting. We're located in Holland, Michigan, so if you are local or if you're visiting, please feel free to stop at our office to look at our yarns. So today we will be using how beautiful sparkly yarns, guys. So this is white with silver sparks and uh, red with uh, silver sparks. It's beautiful, perfect for Christmas colors. I will be using red and I will be actually using leftover of white with white sparkles. So we have uh, white with silver sparkles in stock. White with white sparkles is on the way. Uh, you can pre-order it. It looks like snow. This one looks more like silver uh, on the snow. This one literally looks like snow because it's white on the white. And that's what I will be using today. And what I will be making, I will be making this beautiful candy cane wreath. For uh, the base, I will be using this candy cane metal base. You can buy it on our website too in the accessory section. And then the yarn uh, sparkly red and sparkly white with white sparkles will go here on the top to make this beautiful wreath that you can hang on your door, on your wall, anywhere you want. It looks really cute and it literally will take you maybe 10-15 min minutes to make it. We also have other beautiful colors of sparkly yarn. We have purple, we have gray, we have light gray. We also have navy blue and black. So go to becausey.net and buy the sparkly yarn, which is perfect for uh, a beautiful blanket or if it's uh, red and white for a beautiful candy cane. So if you have our sparkly yarn ready, it's not sold in any stores, by the way, only at our website. Let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started. Um, I will be using this metal base and I will be using this red uh, sparkly Chanel and white sparkly. And this sparkly Chanel has white sparkles. If you can see them, they're very hard to see uh, in the video, but it's beautiful. When you hold it in your hand, it looks like a, a snowball. So we have this yarn coming. Uh, it's a leftover from the previous uh, stock, but it's uh, on the, in the mail. So this white with white sparkles is coming. Now we have white with silver sparkles, similar to this red one. So we will be using uh, one string of red and one string of white for this beautiful uh, wreath candy cane form. So let's start with the red color and we can make a knot on the end. I usually make a knot on the end to prevent from unraveling. Uh, and then, so a knot on the end, cut the tail and then start. So how we're starting? We are making a loop the same way we're usually making for hand knitting. And then we are pulling the yarn through like that. So we have first stitch ready. And now we will put the stitch on the base. Now pull the yarn to secure this first stitch uh, on the base and to secure it on the side that it wouldn't be falling, we will do the following. So we will make another stitch first. This base is making a lot of noise. So anyway, uh, place the yarn like that. Now take two strings together and then take this next yarn, next string of yarn and pull it through two. So we just made the first kind of stitch and now we will do the same on the side here the, in order to secure the yarn, okay? So we will have the your hand in the stitch, then the extra yarn from working yarn will go through. And now you have two stitches, put them in your hand, 
and then grab work in here and, and pull it through. So here we are. This way we secured the end of the base and now we will pull this working yarn through to move the yarn. Like see, we have now nice and beautiful edge. And now we have this red uh, stitch hanging here. Now we are taking the white one and the same way we will need to create the stitch, only this stitch will be we will be creating right on the uh, base. So place the yarn over and then one more time. See, we kind of created a stitch on the base and then grab this working yarn and pull it through. So here is our white stitch. And in order to secure it, the tail will go like that. So we now have two stitches, red and white. And this one looked like two stitches because we had one extra here. That's why we will make one extra with white. So go on the back with your working yarn like that. And then pull this working yarn through this loop. Here we are. So we now have two. Now the red one will go on the top of the white stitch like that. And now we will make next stitch in red. The same way guys, the yarn goes on the back. One and two times. Then you're pulling red through the white. Now we're switching to white. Red goes on the back. White goes on the back once, twice. And then grab this working yarn and pull it through the red. Pull the red down on the back. See what we have here? We have beautiful candy cane formed and now we are doing the same white goes on the back, red goes on the back once, two times and then the working yarn goes through the stitch that you were holding, pull working yarn, white working on the back to pull it down. Here we are. Now red goes on the back. White goes bes behind the base once and twice. And then working yarn goes inside the stitch. Hold it and pull red working to uh, make it nice and tight. So I will keep doing it this way until it's time to turn and then I will come back and show you what to do next. Okay guys, so look at this beautiful candy cane wreath. Isn't it gorgeous? I really like the sparkly yarn and maybe I should use the white with sparkles, but I actually think it's good to use it this way because you really see the red sparkles this way. So we are almost to the turn. It's kind of tricky when you're doing the turn or at least uh, a little bit. So, but you're still doing the same pattern when you're turning. Just, uh, it will not look as spread as two strings, but it will be still two. So you keep pushing the yarn uh, that you just use on the back and then use the other color. And then working yarn goes inside this stitch. You pull in the opposite yarn to make it nice and tight. And then you keep knitting the same Knitting or I, I don't know, crafting I would say because it's not really knitting. Crafting this way because you really need to have this uh, project turn. So see, I am keep, uh, keep knitting, keep uh, changing colors the same way, two at a time, two strings at a time. And then pull in the opposite yarn to secure this beautiful uh, top 
And now we're almost to the place where we will need to finish it. So we'll make one more white and one more red. And we will, guys, finish with the red because we started with the red and I think it kind of makes sense to finish it with the red too. So here we are. We don't need white, so we'll put it on the back of the project. So the same way as we did here, guys, uh, see there is red. Now, red will go inside, in the middle over here, pull it out, and now pull out the stitch through the one you have on your hand. Okay, so now we can cut red yarn. And now to cover this end, uh, insert the yarn over here to make another loop. And then this loop will go inside the stitch on your hand. And then this little tail will go inside. And then pull to finish up. Here we are. See this beautiful end? And here, at this point, there is no uh, yarn left to make a knot. So you can just uh, keep it this way and uh, tuck it in on the back. Or you can use a lighter. I recently started using a lighter to uh, secure the end of the yarn. So let's cut the white too. And here we will just tuck it in on the back of the wreath like that. See, you cannot even see it. And the same we will do with the red one. You just need to tuck it in like that. Okay, so here we are. We are now here. Uh, we can tuck in the white with white or we can connect white with red, that's possible too. Uh, like to make a knot on the end. Here, red with white. This is the back of the wreath, so it will be uh, not really noticeable. Here we are. So now we will, what you need, now you can make a little hook over here to hang it. You can just hang it on one of the stitches or the metal base. And if you want to make a little hook, you can just take a little bit of yarn and attach it here to the metal part. Just make a simple knot. And when the knot is done, I will cut the tails close to the knot. And the knot will go inside. And you will have a nice little hook to hang it. So this is our little project today, guys. It's really cute. As you can see, this yarn you can find at Bicosi.com, sparkly candy cane red and sparkly white. Or uh, this one is actually white with white sparkles, which is coming soon. Uh, you can pre-order it now, uh, or you can order white with uh, silver sparkles. And uh, we have bases uh, for sale too in the accessory section. So go to our website, buy uh, some yarn, and make this beautiful Christmas project. Stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, uh, Larissa Koideke with Bicozy.com is here. Two years ago in September, I published my book uh, that called Hand Knitting. I created hand knitting style in the end, at the end of uh, 2015. And uh, last year, or actually two years ago, I wrote a book, it was printed. This uh, book tells you what hand knitting is, uh, the story of uh, my company, Bicozy. And also we have a few amazing uh, patterns and every single step 
uh, how to hand knit is shown in this book. This book is sold at becozy.com and on Amazon, and Amazon you can also buy a Kindle version. So go get this book for yourself or for your loved ones. Thank you.